everyone and welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you so just a little intro before i get into the readings guys you know my book of answers those who've been following me over the last couple of weeks i've been using which i love and it's an old book i didn't realize that carol bolt did the book of literature i think the one was and another one called this one dun, 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 the movie book of answers oh, i'm so excited the literature wasn't, one hasn't come yet because it's coming from the States, but this one came from Germany and it's the um, original first edition. So I've got all the three that I'm going to be incorporating. This one is movie quotes uh, from all different films and what have you. So I didn't want to bring the poetic words in this week. I wanted to bring in, we'll look at the book of answers at the start of the reading and then at the end we will go into the movie book of answers and draw what it says in there. I just thought it was a bit different and I do like using these books. I think it's really natty for the star signs. So my lovelies, with that said and done, okay, let's get on with the weekly reads. I'm now going to reading for the lovely star sign of Virgo. So my lovely Virgos, let's grab the book of answers and see what's coming out for you this week. What have we got for the lovely Virgos? Where do you want us to stop please? towards the front for you this week, I feel. Keep it to yourself. Ooh, Virgo. Information that you might hear of, but whatever it is, keep it under your hat. Keep it to yourself. Privy to yourself, okay? So, let's have a look at your overall energies. What's going on with the Virgs? Keep it to yourself, Virgo. So a secret could be told to you this week. You could be confided in this week. Okay. Mm, very cloak and dagger. So Virgo, what have you got going on for you? We've got goals. Nice one. Set a goal, write it down and release the outcome. Small steps make a big difference. Planning. Okay. Um, there's quite a few opportunities have passed you by of late that you just hadn't got your heart in but there is one still lurking around here in the golden cage that's waiting to be released so it's all about focus um actually writing things down sometimes it does help and i always say this to people put your intentions down in a journal every day it's actually seeing yourself achieving those goals and you'll be amazed at how that energy harnesses in so we're setting up goals to start with okay need to be putting some structure um, around you. Just feel you could be like the balloon at the minute, just floating around here and there with no real grounding. So this is where the goals come in. What am I, what am I focusing on? What do I want? Okay. And that's flipped out for you. And we've got the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords here is saying to you, you're leaving some issues behind you now. There's been some struggles, even on a personality basis with people. And it's like, you've turned your back on these people. There might've been an argument recently, you know, just a daft little disagreement. And it's like, you've seen somebody in their true colors. And it's like, you know what? I haven't got time for this. I haven't got time to argue with you. I'm not gonna repeat myself anymore. You know, I'm just turning my back on you and I'm walking away. Goodbye. So, with those out of the main frame, let's have a look what is your inner psyche feeling this week. We don't like any negativity around my Virgos. So, yeah, turn your back on them, Virgs. What else have we got going on? What have we got going on for Virgo? We have the sacred union, partnership and romance. Let's face the music and dance. Ooh, Virgs. <laughs> so we've got the sacred union, partnership and romance. So your inner soul, this is what your inner soul is concentrating on at this moment in time. Sorting out partnerships, as I said, people who have, you know, You've, you've turned your back on, you, you just cannot relate to anymore. And then there's romantic issues as well that are sort of coming in under the spotlight for you. 
just wanting to feel comfortable and loved within your own being. This, don't forget this comes into what your, what your inner spirit um, yearns for and it yearns for partnership and romance as in peace and love, okay? For some of you as well, it can mean marriage, news of a marriage or an engagement within your family environment. So you could be hearing news in that sense. Let's just have a look what the universe wants to add in as a challenge for you, unexpected. What have we got for Virgs? And we have regeneration. Four and six come to a ten. There's a phase that you have come to a completion of. This could be the end of a job. This could be the end of a relationship. This could be just the end of a project. But it's saying here, there's new growth coming in. You could have been stagnant for a while in a situation in your life, but just know now a new chapter is about to start, especially with the goals if you're planning okay, and putting that intention in, then just know that you are coming back to life. Let's just have a look what your animal spirit cards have got coming out. And we have, wow, Virgo, we've got the owl, which is the alchemical sign of air. Okay, and look at this. Ooh, it's the golden egg, feather in your own nest. The universe is saying to you, you are being wise like the owl, using your knowledge and well-being to focus on your goals in order to feather your own nest. It can also be a golden opportunity coming in for you as well so that's a really positive energy what's coming in at the end of the week for my lovely virgos that didn't want to go back in and it's revision brushing up on skills maybe going back to the drawing board focusing on education revisiting something as well it's about brushing up skills and it can also be about tracing something back. Okay, so you could be having to go through paperwork, trawling to prove something as well for some of you this week. Retracing steps, okay, on a situation. Let's just have a look what your guides, angels and spirits want to come out with. And we've got listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not just to what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. And didn't we have keep it to yourself at the start of this reading? So you've got to be listening. Somebody's going to be confiding in you, uh, Virgo, this week. So be ready to have a listening ear. So let's get the movie book of answers and see what's going to come out in this to finish this reading off for you this week. What have we got for you? What have we got for Virgo? Don't get in the way. Jesus Christ, the last temptation of Christ, that saying is out of that film. Don't get in the way. So it's a strong message to say that you could be intervening or want to intervene on something and the spirit saying no. Let it just, let them get on with it, okay? Let them deal with it. Don't get in the way. Just walk away, okay? It's not your battle to win. It's not your argument to get involved in. Just don't get in the way and don't get involved. Heed the warning, Virgo. So, I hope that resonates with some of you. If not, check out your moon and rising signs. And until next week, my lovely Virgos, you take care of yourself. Bye then.